Hey guys, it's Robbie with SideQuest Fitness. I uh, have some uh, wrist exercises and stretches you can do here to keep your gaming marathon going really far uh, this winter. I'm going to be using them myself once Battlefront comes out because that first weekend, that's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. Rebels and Imperials, baby. Uh, but anyways, I want to lay out these few things you can do. First, always take a break. Every hour, get up. Stretch your legs, stretch your arms, uh, take the dog for a walk, you know, go grab some water, hit the bathroom, whatever you got to do for an hour. Uh, but just get up and, and give yourself a little bit of a break. Uh, one of the things you can do in that hour are just some basic things with your hand. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to start here with our palm and we're just going to stretch our fingers out as far as we can. Bring them back in. Stretching out as far as we can. Bring them back in. Thing you can do as well is just taking your hands, balling them up in a fist as hard as you can, exploding your hands back out, balling a fist, exploding back out. And just do that for 30 seconds, a couple times. One of the most basic wrist stretches that you can do, uh, which you're probably pretty familiar with if you tap a lot on a keyboard or, or play games uh, quite often. Um, you're just going to stick your hand out like you're a traffic cop stopping traffic, and you're just going to pull back on your wrist, keeping your arm as straight as you can. So from the side, and we're just pulling back on our fingers and feeling that, that stretch here in our wrist and down into our forearm as well. Again, you don't need to pull very hard, just a little bit of force applied. Again, on the other side as well. Just really feeling that stretch. Do those for 30 seconds on each side. Another great stretch for your wrist, uh, which will actually help here along the wrist and the uh, outside of your hand and your thumb. So you're going to extend your arm out straight, pull your elbow into your side with your elbow bent right against your, uh, your chest. Your palm is facing forwards. You're going to go over, grab your thumb, and just pull the thumb and the palm in that opposite direction and just feel that pull. Doesn't, again, need to be hard. You don't have to pull it like you're the Hulk ripping someone's arms off. You're just getting a good stretch there. You know, a good 30 seconds. Switch to the other side. Other hand. Again, 30 seconds. Great stretch to open up the wrist. Stretch that muscle there that has been constricted while you're holding on to your controller like that. And just give it a little bit of, of, of a release. All right, so this one is a great thing you can do. Um, and you can do this throughout the whole day. You can do it in between matches while you're sitting in the lobby. You can do it while you're at work, on your lunch break. You can do it while you're sitting on the toilet. We're just going to massage our hands. That's it. Just get in here with your thumb on your opposite hand. And just massage the palm. Massage the thumb along the edge, outside, right there on the nail as well, right where it connects, and your fingers. Just give them gentle massages up and down, all over. And that's a great way to sort of loosen up those tight muscles that you've had while you're gaming. Uh, another thing you can also do, this is very easy, very simple. You can do this in between matches, just rotating your wrists. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds going counterclockwise. Again, same on this wrist. And that's it. Just some nice circles there. Uh, and that should help you when you implement all of those steps there, should help you Keep that gaming marathon going as you're, you're hitting the battlefield this winter or climbing things in Victorian England or whatever game you're playing this fall. Thanks, guys. Again, Robbie of SideQuest Fitness, and I hope you enjoyed.